Well, after 20 minutes of trying to cross that road, I decided it might just be better to walk a kilometre up the road and cross the road, look. mad here at the minute you can go from a really really busy area to almost nothing look about 25 30 years ago here in Bangkok Thailand they tried to build the first sky train which didn't quite go according to plan they built all the concrete bases and everything for a large large section including over this river and for the next 30 years it just lay like a like a monstrous piece of snake concrete waste snaking and winding its way through the city and in fact over this river about a year and a half about two years ago they built this Chao Praya which is the name of the river Chao Praya Sky Park and they've utilized this old bit of bridge in between the two road bridges and made it into a walking let's call it a park over the river Wow, I've been waiting to see this for about 18 months. I'm pretty excited actually, so let's have a look. Well, here we are. Betwixt two bridges over the Chow Praia River. I've been here over 20 years and I've never I've never walked over the Chow Phraya River. I've always wanted to and I've never managed to do it. Wow. Got the road beneath me there. The road beneath me there. It's about to run there in the distance. <laughs> this is fantastic. Anyway, that's the Tumbori side of the river. If they were playing to crawl there, I might go and have a look. Are they? Oh, they are. I'm gonna go and have a look. This is the uh, original game of Sipat Takro. And here comes the serve. Ancient game of Sea Patrick Crow. I've been waiting to see that to show my brother-in-law. 
Uh, there's two forms of that game. That one back there is the most popular one these days. Point scoring a little bit like volleyball, um, as, you could, as you could just see. And the other one, they stand around in a circle, kick it, keeping the ball up like that. But then there's a net hanging, say, from a tree. And the idea is to do a few tricks and get the ball in the net and you get more points for style and panache. Burmese claim to invent it. Burmese people, you're wrong. It's a Thai sport. Thai's the best of it. And uh, that's all there is to it. Something else they've always been really good at here in Thailand is recycling rubber. Look. It's the recycling of rubber there, look. They make uh, trash cans, rubbish bins, play things like that, all sorts. And shoes. And that's the road I was trying to cross earlier. For about a kilometre and a half up there, there's, there's no traffic lights. I'm looking at that bridge over there, and there's a footpath over it. So really, back in the day, I could have walked over there. Wow. Bangkok used to be the city that never sleeps. Now you've got cramming as much as you can, as much as possible as you can during daylight hours, because curfew is at 9 p.m. No problem with me, look at this. So happy to be finally on here. Very happy that this place is finally open again. It's finally finished right at the start of the current pandemic, uh, about 18 months ago. Just amazing to be standing in the middle of the Chow Phraya River. Unusual experience, but a fantastic one. You've got to come and have a look. There's walking across the alleyways and stuff, and then there's sitting on the bridge in the middle of the Chow Phraya for a picnic. Happy days. It's really weird in the middle of the Chow Phraya, but between two, two expressways. It's not rush hour, it's not a busy time of day, but even so. Pretty awesome! Oh, the black cab. Actually, there's a new app here in Bangkok called Cab, C A B B. Download it and you can get a black cab. It's quite a lot more expensive than a normal cab, I'm told. I haven't tried it yet, but pretty good experience to have, I think. I might do that soon. I might even make a video of it, if you're lucky. And if I, I guess if 420 is your thing, then look, there's nobody here. But you're in the middle of town. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. they've made a bit of an effort with the plants they could go a bit further I guess but um pretty good pretty pretty good oh, I feel that wobbling it's funny you don't question it anymore when you when you just pass someone they're chuntering away to themselves and you can't see a phone or anything it's just normal, isn't it? Someone's got a, a headphone in and they're chatting. I guess that's why not so many people look at me when I'm walking along doing this. It's not really a natural thing to do. Walking along, thinking about what you're going to say, trying not to get run over, trying to remember your name all at the same time and where you're going. <laughs> it's quite enjoyable though, I must admit. And for the next couple of weeks, I'm just going to keep walking the old part of town, Botanicosin Island. I could literally walk about here every day for the next year and find new th things to film each day. So I'm going to do that. If you want to join me, join me. If not, I've got some fantastic memories to look back on. So all is well in the world. Come back and have a look at this. Look. Wow, 
Now that is very, very heavily laden. I'm telling you, when that's empty, that ain't going under that bridge. When that's empty, the hull has to be 50 feet tall. Put it this way, boats pull up, boats pull up next to them, like noodle boats, shops, that kind of thing, and they have to throw down a rope uh, with a bucket on to get the stuff and send the money down. Look at that, man. She's a biggie, look. I'm trying to keep it straight, look, you've got a, another barge at the back making sure it doesn't hit that bridge. And look. There she comes out the other side. Wax the power on. That boat must have an awful lot of torque. I don't mean it's good at chatting, it's, it's got a lot of talk. Here we go, and you can see the front now. Can we still see the back there, look? Yes, still there, look. Yeah, look, look, look. Look, that tugboat is pushing it. I'm in the bushes here, look. Yeah, that tugboat was always on the side, pushing it from the back. Right, let's get up here and see because normally you see one or two or three but that's quite a that's quite a large load isn't it Jesus Just look. let's see how many big barges there are that's some heaviness on there though well there's the first three you see people's houses there on the back. The first two have actually got solar power for their electricity. Great stuff. Like I said, these are normally a couple of these long, too long. That's four already, look. Snaking down the river like a giant centipede. There we go, see? Tugboat's on the side trying to keep that straight. Tugboat Techers. Skill McGill. I'm telling you, mate, if you're gonna have a low paid paid job like a security guard in a in a in an apartment or whatever, you might as well work the river. These guys live on the boats, they they're up and down all day. They have certain places where they stop uh, each night. And it's all good, the kids go to a particular school still. But at least they're, they're out here, aren't they, in the fresh air? As you're melting in the small alleyways of the city, or the, of the old city, sorry, or sweating away, walking about, this is the place to come. There's a little bit of breeze up here in the middle of the Chow Praia. Just enough to keep it really, really nice. If I lived right here in the centre of town, I'd probably exercise here in the morning. Back and forth, back and forth. Anyway, let's have a look at this for a minute. Lapse there, I've been sitting in the middle of the river on that bridge for about 20 minutes. Not one single person has walked past, come past, or anything. So, you do want a bit of peace and quiet when you're in Bangkok Old Town before the tourists come back and you're here. Come here, sit down, have a picnic, have a nap, do some exercise. It's a fantastic place, Chow Praia Sky Park, I think is what it's called. <laughs> if you have enjoyed this video and you have enjoyed this bridge and you do want to see some more nice places then click subscribe click like and uh, I might see you next time
mad here at the minute. You can go from a really, really busy area to almost nothing, look. Socially distanced as fuck.